Hey Vibe Makers, it's Lila with LB Novelties and today I'm going to be showing you a really fun project that I'm going to be creating for my 2020 lineup. This is just something that is going to be a fun little notebook that I will be creating. Um, this actually is the recipe organizer that just got released from the Happy Planner. But I want to use this in a really fun way, still using some of the recipe sheets and dividers, but incorporating some other fun elements to create a restaurant recipe book. What I want to do is actually create kind of not like a bucket list, but just list out restaurants that I'd like to try. And if I try something at the restaurant that I really love, I want to um, write down a similar recipe to recreate that dish at home. And um, I love to go out and eat. I am a big fan of like certain restaurants and their meals. And I try to try new items every once in a while and that's why I wanted to create this because I always go to the same restaurants and for 2020 I want to um, brought in my you know taste palette and try new places and um, just see if I can recreate the dish at home so you'll see how I put this all together in a little bit and I have my recipe sticker books and some other additional food sticker books here from the happy planner so let's get to it and creating this really fun restaurant slash recipe book Okay, so the recipe organizer itself comes with plastic mini rose gold discs. I want to switch them over to these rose gold metal classic size discs, just so it's easy for me to maneuver. And also I'm gonna be adding some grid dot lined sheet paper here. This is just from one of my Encourager Happy Notes mini size. So this is where I'm gonna list out the restaurant name that I want to visit. And then I'm gonna leave space to kind of memory keep. I wanna take a picture of the restaurant and take a picture of the item that I actually tried and that was just really delicious and I want to recreate at home. So it's gonna be kind of like a memory keeper slash recipe organizer and kind of like a bucket list. It's just gonna be a fun little project to have. Um, and it's just something I thought of this year, or yeah, this past year in, 19, in 2019 of what I wanted to recreate. But now I'm trying to figure out how I want to actually organize this. I do love that each of these dividers has um, it labeled by favorites, main dishes, small dishes, soups and salads, healthy and breakfast. I think I do want to keep it like this just because if I go to a breakfast restaurant, I can just flip over here and list, have the restaurant and then the recipe. And I just saw back here that there is also dessert and miscellaneous. It's just covered up by this. So there's a lot of um, dividers in here as well. So that's why I wanna switch over to the classic. And I'm just gonna do a quick flip through of each divider so you can see what each one has. So this is small dishes and soups and salads. And I really love the photos in these dividers. I think it just makes me really excited to eat food. <laughs> a party without cake is just a meeting. And then I really love this one where there's a whisk, there is a way. And it's just so pretty. So I think first what I'm going to do is take off the covers and switch everything over to my classic. And I'm not going to keep all these recipes. I'll just leave a couple of sheets in each section so I have space to put some of these half sheets. So let's get to it and kind of deconstruct things. Right. So I put together with the gla uh, classic disc right here this is the cover the, all the dividers and a few of the recipe sheets because I'm gonna be adding some of these sheets in here and then these ones are gonna stay extra so when I want to add more recipes I just have this little mini extension case so I'm just gonna place that in here but before I put that in there I have some folders towards the back here and I want to have a folder in the back of this I think I'm gonna do this one the 401 kind of goes with the color scheme so I want to have that in the back of my recipe organizer slash memory keeper because I want to um, put any photos that I need to paste down or receipts or maybe even um, menus if I can put them in here inside that folder. So I'm just going to put these in here and save them in there. And then that way they're stored and safe and secure for when I need to add more. So I'm just going to add this folder towards the back. I always like to have a little folder or plastic envelope in any of my notebooks or organizers or whatever it may be. And now what I'm gonna do is start adding a few of these line sheets in each section. So what I wanna do is add two of these sheets per recipe. So each um, restaurant will have a recipe sheet 
depending on what it is that I want to recreate at home. I wanted to show you real quick before I continue adding sheets, what I ended up switching out is I'm doing one sheet in the very first page. So this coordinates with this, this recipe and then this will match with this sheet and this one will go with this sheet. So that's what I'm doing is making sure each recipe has its own half sheet designated to it. And then the very last recipe will have one half sheet. So it's one half sheet and then a recipe, then two half sheets and then a recipe. And then it continues like so until you get to the very last recipe and then you just have to add one half sheet. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, it's just to make sure you have a half sheet for each, um, or not half sheet, excuse me, um, mini planner line sheet for each of your recipes. All right, under my favorite section, I'm gonna show you an example of kind of what I want to do. Um, because there are some favorite restaurants of mine that I love here in Arizona and I'm going to um, Just save these for future visits, but I want to show you what I want to do So I'm going to pull out this sheet and this one that coordinates with it And I'm going to list out the name of the restaurant and photos that I have of the favorite meal that I tried and then put in here ingredients and, and directions of how to make it. One of my favorite restaurants to go to is Postino. I really love their food. It's just so delicious. So this is just a photo I printed off um, from the internet of uh, the actual restaurant, but this one I took a picture of with my phone and this is what I ordered. I love the fig um, brie and apple cheese board with, um, I also have a mozzarella tomato and basil one. And this one is their burrata with arugula and tomatoes. I just get it without bacon because I don't eat bacon, but it's really delicious. So I'm just going to lay these out here and then I'm going to use my stickers to kind of do a little memory keeping. And then this is actually what I want to write down as my recipe. makers my first entry is done and I just wanted to show you what it's going to be looking like so that way you have an idea of what this is going to be used for so I have the picture of the item that I really loved at this restaurant Postino and I just had fun with all the recipe sticker books some of my food sticker books and I also added some fun memories and what I enjoyed and then I went ahead and added the recipe to make a bruschetta board and I'm really excited. So this is what I'm gonna be doing throughout the year of 2020 is writing down recipes and also memory keeping restaurants and what I enjoyed from each one. 
And I think it'll be really fun to try to recreate these items at home and just have fun in 2020 trying to get better with my cooking skills. So that's really what I wanted to use this recipe organizer for. I think it's really fun to make it your own, customize it and make it work for you. It doesn't have to just be just for recipes. You can really use it for memory keeping slash recipes and um, it's gonna be fun. So I can't wait to fill it out with more items throughout the year of 2020. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to hit that notification bell. And as always guys, peace and love.